Hello, my friends. Hope all you are doing well. Welcome back to my Southern Kitchen. My name is Ellen. Can you believe Easter is right around the corner? It's upon us. So today, I'm going to share with all of y'all some angel biscuits. And angel biscuits are buttermilk biscuits with yeast in it. So it's going to have the combination of biscuits and rolls. And my friends, it is so simple and easy to make. And as always, it is the bomb.com delicious. And if y'all a fan of buttermilk biscuits and yeast rolls, y'all going to love these. And you may want to make a double batch because these will run out in seconds. Perfect to serve for Easter dinner. And I'll post the complete recipe along with the instructions down below in the description box. And for more breads and rolls, check out my breads and rolls recipes playlist and my previous video, Lemony Lemon Pie. I'll post the link to both of those down below in the description box. So grab your buttermilk, your flour, and your yeast, sugar, because we're about to bake some Angel Biscuits magic in my southern kitchen. Here we go! All right, my friends, the first thing we're going to do is prep our yeast in my measuring cup. I have a fourth of a cup of warm water and I got it to 110 degrees. And then to our water, we're going to add in one teaspoon of white sugar. Got to feed the yeast. And now we're going to add in one envelope of active dry yeast. And give it a quick stir until it's well blended. So now we're going to let it sit for 10 minutes until the yeast risen and bloom. All right, my friends, our yeast has risen. See how nice and big that is? That's what you're looking for. Now we are ready to move forward with the recipe. Let's get started with the dry ingredients. In my large bowl, I have two and a half cups of all-purpose flour. And then to our flour, we're gonna add in our sugar and level inks. I have a fourth of a cup of white sugar, one teaspoon of baking powder, a half a teaspoon of baking soda, and one teaspoon of salt. Going to give our biscuits a little sweetness. And we're going to give these a quick whisk, or you can sift them if you like, until it's well combined. All right, now it's time to add in our fats. We're going to add in a fourth of a cup of lard. And four tablespoons, which is a half a stick or a fourth of a cup of unsalted butter that I cut into cubes. Love using these two combinations. And make sure your fats are nice and cold. That is the secret to perfect fluffy biscuits. And using my pastry cutter, or you can use a fork, we're just going to cut the butter and lard in until it reaches coarse crumbs, like the size of peas. All right, as soon as I get through cutting my butter and lard into my flour, I'll bring you back. All right, my friends, I am through cutting my butter and lard in. It's the size of peas. That looks great. Now it's time to add in our last two ingredients. So now we're going to make a well in the center. We're going to add in our yeast. And one cup of buttermilk. And it's nice and cold. And this is my homemade buttermilk recipe. I'll post the link to that down below in the description box. And give it a quick stir until it's well incorporated. Until it forms a dough. Alright my friends, I am through stirring up my dough. And this is what we want. Perfect. So now on my work surface, I'm going to dust some flour. And we're going to plop our dough on there. Dust some flour onto my dough. And we're going to knead it a few times. Like so. And if the dough is too sticky, you can add in more flour. All right, as soon as I get through kneading up my dough, I'll bring you back. 
All right, my friends, I am through kneading up my dough. And this is what it looked like. Gave us a nice ball. Mmm, love the smell of yeast. So now we're going to flatten the dough with your hands, like so. Now we're going to fold it a few times. Going to give us some flaky layers. Ooh, this dough is soft and squishy like a pillow. I love it. Now we are ready to cut our biscuits. I'm using a biscuit cutter or you can use a glass. We're just going to press it down. We're not going to twist it. Voila, beautiful biscuit. And I'm going to place it in my 9 by 13 inch baking dish. And I spread it with cooking spray. And make sure your biscuits are two inches apart. We don't want them close together. All right, I'm going to go ahead and finish with the rest of my biscuits. And I'll bring you back. All right, my friends, I am through cutting my biscuits and in total gave us eight biscuits. So now we're going to cover them with plastic wrap. Now we're going to place the biscuits in a warm place. I'm going to place mine in the oven. We're going to let them rise for one hour. All right, my friends, our biscuits has risen. See how nice and big they are? So now we're going to remove the plastic wrap. Now we're going to brush the top with some sweet milk, which is Southern Talk for whole milk. Going to give them a nice golden brown color when they come out of the oven. Now we are ready to place our biscuits in the oven. Oven's preheated to 400 degrees. We're going to let them bake for 12 minutes. Then after that, I'm going to put them under the brawler just for a little bit. I want them to get just a little bit more golden brown. Be careful. You don't want to burn them. And I'll bring you back. Oh my lord, my friends. Look at these beautiful biscuits. See how nice and golden brown they are? I just taken them out of the oven. Mmm, and it smells heavenly up in this kitchen. Let's butter them up, shall we? I have some melted butter in this pot. And we're just going to brush them all over. Oh, honey, yes. That's how you do it in the South. Alrighty, I am through brushing my biscuits. Now they are ready to serve. So I'm about to place them into my bowl and I'll bring you back. Alright, my friends, there you have it. Angel biscuits. And we made them completely from scratch. Don't that look good? So now I'm about to fix me up a plate and then we'll give it a taste. Before we dig in, I want to show y'all how soft and tender this biscuit is. Ooh wee! Light as a feather. Beautiful flaky layers. I opened my biscuit and I'm going to put some butter right in the middle. And also you can put jelly or honey, maple syrup, sausage gravy, whatever your heart desire. Going to close it up so the butter can melt. Now it's time for the best part, the tasting. Here we go! Mm-mm. Look at this biscuit. Have a bite. Mmm. OMG. It just melts in your mouth. And look at that texture. It's nice and buttery and full of flavor. These angel biscuits are divine, my friends. Please give this recipe a try. This deserve another bite. Mm-mm. Yum o. Oh. Angel Biscuit Licious. My friends, I want to thank all y'all for watching and joining me in my Southern Kitchen today. If you enjoyed this recipe, please give it a thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. Don't forget to share this with your family and friends. Like, 
comment, subscribe to my channel, and click on the bell so that way you'll be notified when my new videos come out. Also, follow me on social media, Facebook, Ellen's Homemade Delights, and Instagram at Ellen Delights. And don't forget to hashtag Ellen's Homemade Delights. And please send me an email, Ellen's Homemade Delights at gmail.com. I would love to see your beautiful creations with my recipes. And I'll see you next time. Let's eat. Much love and happy Easter.